Hey guys, what is up? Dylan Locke here. I'd like to welcome you to my first YouTube video ever. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I built this RC robot I've been working on for around a year now, on and off with other projects. Um, for all the parts I use in this video, the links will be in the description below. Anyway, so with nothing further to do, let's start the video. So overall I'm fairly happy with how this project turned out. I haven't had any real issues. 
The tracks have all managed to stay on, so that's good. However, I was hoping that it would go a little bit faster than what it does, but I guess that's just all in the size of the drive sprocket. As the bigger it is, the faster they go, but that's probably something I can change in the future. I will show you more footage, however, first I just want to go over a few things that I have changed since I built this thing. So, firstly I ended up actually getting rid of these cheap ESCs because they were heating up quite a bit and I felt like they weren't providing the full power of the batteries to the motors. Um, so I ended up actually making my own mechanical switches, I guess you could call them. I just got a two-way switch, 3D printed these little things and then put a servo there. So. And that works fairly well. And you don't really need to have ESCs with something this slow because obviously it's just a, a fairly slow speed. It's one speed really, that's all you need. Um, now, I also had to add these plates here as without them, the sprockets would just be sliding on the chain underneath it and it would just be bouncing up and down. So I had to add that to hold the tracks down so it would actually get grip on the sprockets. I also decided to just bolt these on so I can always unbolt it and take the tracks off if I have any problems in the future. Now you may be wondering why I added the two switches here. Basically, as I use windscreen wiper motors, you can have a high and a low setting in a car for different speeds, but it's not only different speeds, but it actually um, adds another pole to the motor, so it also changes the torque as well. So I added them so I could have low torque and high speed, or I can have low speed and high torque. For the tracks, I decided to use double row chain. While it doesn't look the best, I managed to get it cheaper and it was much easier to make rather than having to make tracks from scratch. Uh, for the wheels, I decided to use two mil steel as this would allow me to cut them out with a hole saw without the hole saw overheating or going blunt. And then basically I just used 608ZZ skateboard bearings um, for them. Links will be in the description below. Anyway, so that's basically it for all the changes. So I guess we should go test this thing. Anyway guys, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Also stick around for part two where I will be putting a FPV system in here with a camera. Anyway, I'm Dylan Locke, thanks for watching.